My next guest is a UFC veteran who will be making his Lion Fights debut January 29th against Travis Clay. Jared, the Jackhammer Papazian, joins me here on the program. Jared, how are you? I'm doing well. How are you? I'm great. Thanks for asking. And you know, most people remember you from the UFC for your fights with Mike Easton and Tim Elliott. Why the switch over to Muay Thai? Uh, my whole goal is to go back to MMA, but I'm just starting up some tools to uh, make it more and more stronger. And then when I go back to MMA, it's going to be even way more stronger than what it is. How did the deal, though, with uh, Lion Fights come together? Um, I contacted them over the years, and uh, I've been trying to do a, a Muay Thai fight. And uh, every time they, they would hit me up, I would have already a future commitment with another organization for MMA. So it didn't work out, and I took a break from MMA, and... Uh, they hit me up, so it worked out this time. So, and and with them being on Access TV, was that a factor as well in your decision? Just with the fact you're going to get all that extra exposure. You know, regardless if I was going to be on the other card or on the main card, I'm just happy to uh, to be able to perform and uh, to improve my skills. That's number one. But it's also great to uh, how they're they're uh, um getting me up there and getting me on a higher stage, which is on Access TV and getting more uh, views, which is awesome. Good stuff. Um, now, uh, is, is fighting your full-time gig or do you have a job on top of this? Uh, full-time. Nice. Full -time. Good for you, man. That, that's awesome. Uh, how, you know, as far as going all in, how's it been, you know, trying to pay bills and things like that? Have you kind of just made it work, I guess? Um, as a career, it's very, very tough. You know, um, now I, I own my own gym, so I open my own so that I, I make money that way and I do privates but um you know uh, uh fighting as a as a career is very very tough if you don't fight at the highest level which is the UFC I'm very thankful that I got to fight of the night so I, I was you know I'm pretty living on that so which is nice so well let's talk about the fight here you're taking on Travis Clay how do you think you match up against him uh he's very talented you know he was number one at, in his weight class at 132 um, as an amateur, and um, I feel like uh, my experience um, is going to play a factor inside there. Um, I know he has a lot of experience in Muay Thai, but my fighting career, I outside of the MMA, I took some uh, boxing fights. So I'm putting it all together, and I think it's going to be a good matchup. Good stuff. Uh, where are you training for this fight, and who are some of the people helping you get ready for uh, Travis Clay? Um, I'm working over at, at Dynamics MMA with uh, Anthony Hardonk. He also he he also finally sees one of the best leg kickers in the game. Um, he's the best. Um, working with him, which, uh, working with my boxing coach, Seth Zudi, over in Culver City. And then some of my training partners that I've been working with is uh, a guy that's also on the on the, on the the card as well as Chris uh, Chris Cully. He's on the card. He's a lefty, so I've been working with him. I just got done working with him about an hour ago. So, And then uh, another uh, guy that I'm working with that's a lefty is Melsic. Um, he's... Uh, He's fighting in China in uh, a week in an eight-man tournament. So I'm working with some various guys that are lefties, and I think it's going to play out good. And one thing I wanted to ask you, it wasn't really displayed on the website. Where is this, uh, like, what weight class is this taking place in? This is going to be at 132. Oh, okay, gotcha, gotcha. Interesting. Now, does that change at all as far as your weight cut goes, or is it pretty much just the same as what you would do in MMA? Uh, no, I mean, normally I fight at 135. I fought 125 one time in the UFC, and my goal for this year is I'm going down to 125. I, I have a nutritionist that's helping me get ready with for this whole camp. He's been making all my meals, whatever he makes, I eat. So this this weight cut's going uh, really smooth. I'm very happy. What are uh, what are some of the things you, you have to eat on this diet that you normally wouldn't eat uh, in your regular life? All greens. <laughs> Lots of vegetables, I guess. Is there one thing in particular that you miss eating? I like pizza. <laughs> that's uh that's a common one from fighters yeah it's kind of a bummer that that's not healthy uh but uh hey you got you gotta you know put put everything you can into this fight so i think that's great uh let's talk about the fight how do you see this one unfolding on january 29th a lot of times you see this and a lot of thai guys they lack the hands and i think that's one of my biggest strengths is my hands um so i'm working on my defense because i know he's gonna want to kick a lot so um, I'll be ready to counter, and I feel like my hands are going to play the factor in this game, in, in this fight. Good stuff. And uh, you mentioned there, you know, the plan is obviously to get back to the UFC. Are you going to continue to take Muay Thai fights and MMA fights going forward, or are you just going to kind of, I guess, just kind of whatever ever is, uh, you know, kind of at your plate as far as offers go? Um, you know what? I'm very open to it. You know, I, I kinda, I'm kind of enjoying the road to uh, getting better, so I feel like um, 
taking fights outside of MMA. It's going to make me better. Uh, this whole year I took, uh, I had three boxing fights. So I, I took a step back from MMA and I, I went into boxing. Now I'm in a uh, Muay Thai. So I'm putting it together. Oh, sorry, dropped the phone. I, uh, I, uh, I'm starting to put it together. So, um, you know, I would like to maybe sign with Lion Fights if there is an opportunity there and, you know, maybe do some, some fights outside of Lion Fights if it doesn't affect the contract. But, yeah, uh, my whole goal is to go back to the UFC, but take my time, not rush it. So. And what kind of prompted the idea to switch over to Muay Thai? Was it, was it kind of a financial thing or was it something where you just wanted to try something new? I want to improve my whole game. Right. Okay, gotcha. Yeah, I can't fault you for that. I mean, are you surprised that more fighters don't take this route? It seems like a lot just want to stick with MMA, even though they might have difficulty getting fights, especially on the regional circuit. Yeah, you know, there's a lot of, uh, especially here in California, there's not a lot of MMA shows like how they used to. So it's very, very uh, hard to get fights today. And uh, I would take a fight just to, if it, even though if you lose or not, why not better yourself? I mean, your whole goal is to go to MMA, so improve your game and stay busy. Uh, I'm all about that. So, All right, my last question for you here. Uh, what do you like doing in your downtime? You're a busy guy, obviously, training and you know running a gym. Uh, you know, what, what am I going to find you doing uh, to kind of relax? Uh, I'm mostly at home. I'm a homebody, so uh, I don't really go out. Um, I'm mostly here, either sleeping, hanging out with the family, go to a movie, just hanging out pretty much. Are you like a Netflix guy? Or are you like watching sports? Or are you a video game guy? Like what do you kind of like like doing uh, as far as the homebody Netflix, stuff? Sports and Netflix. It's kind of nice. cool. What's, uh, who are your teams like for sports? I like the Lakers. I like the uh, – what's it called? I like the uh, Seattle, even though they're not doing very well right now. No, they're not. We're actually right in the dab uh, in the middle of the game right now. But uh, okay, well that that's interesting. All right, well, Jared, I want to thank you so much for uh, joining me here on the program. Just uh, remind my audience where they can find you on social media and give any thank yous or shout outs. The floor is yours. Yeah, you can uh, add me on Instagram at jackhammer135. Also on Twitter as well, jackhammer135. I just want to thank you for taking the time and uh, doing this interview with me, and uh, I'm very excited for this fight in two weeks.